Hi, my loves. Jere Malay, the girl from around the way, where we have culture, conversation, and community. And in today's video, I'm coming to you all very quickly, girl, very quickly about um, Keisha Cole. Like, what's going on with Keisha the Cole? We need to really kind of talk about those things. Um, before I hop into my commentary, though, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Um, it's greatly appreciated if you're into black things, black culture, black molasses, okay, or whatever Solange and them was talking about. Now, Keisha Cole is no stranger to being publicly humiliated and being mollywopped upside her head, not physically, y'all, but metaphorically, body thingas, bodies naggas, okay. And she popped out on a scene with Huncho, which I don't even know who this man is, okay. I don't really, like, I know he's some sort of rapper. He's 24 years old. She is however old she is. And listen, Keisha likes hood things, okay? Um, a lot of us are still in the clinches, wrapped up in the rapture of love with these hood things. And um, she's one of them, obviously, okay? We, we see the type of men that she goes for. We she, see the type of things that she comes from. So it makes a lot of sense why, um, you know, she is interested in him and, um, you know, everything like this. So it, it makes perfect sense. What I'm trying to say is it's on brand for her. It's on brand for her to be out here with a toxic man, to be getting played, cheating on, throwing, screwed over. And I think after she was with that quarterback, Antonio Brown, she had had enough. But apparently she did not, okay? She should have lied. She should have cheated, baby. She should have left, okay? Now, she is out with a 24-year-old rapper, Huncho, who, um, I don't know, one song, okay? I don't know, not a one song. Is he a street rapper, a thug? I mean, I'm sure he's a thug rapper just by his look, okay? By the way that he looks. But he's 24, Keisha Cole. I want to say Keisha's in her early 40s. I don't really know how old she is. But she's obviously a woman of a certain age, a certain caliber, and a stature. She's 42, y'all. She's out here with a man, 24 years old, outside looking crazy. Again, after Antonio Brown, if she tatted his name and did everything like this, she follows up with a 24-year-old rapper guy. And here are a few things that we can learn from Keisha Cole. If you are going to have a little bit of fun, a little yin 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 around the house, keep that shit in the house. Okay, sister, you do not need to be out here, you know, prancing and pooching and parlaying while this man is out here making you look crazy. If you want to go ahead and get your little buns done, hun, do I don't think that there is a lot wrong with her um, liking a little young tenderoni. Okay, she's a type of roni. She's a sweet little girl. There's nothing wrong with her liking a little something, but when it comes to a point of you are damaging your brand, your reputation, or what's left, girl, or what's left, um, it's really not worth it. A little piece of peen is not worth it. And I just, it just shows to me like people are emotionally stunted, um, irresponsible, because it's one thing to be crazy and in love, and it's one thing to be out here crazy and delusional. There's one thing to be crazy in love, and there's another thing to be out here crazy and delusional. At this very big age, Keisha. Now, we all know and see her life play out in front of the screens. She ain't got it all. And I'm not saying that there are not young men who fall in love with older women. And vice versa. Because, you know, love is love, y'all. I'm a lover girl at the end of the day. But be so fucking for real. So, Huncho comes out and he's in this music video with this girl, Gloss Up. Which I haven't heard of this girl I do not know this man. Sorry to this man. And I'm not even interested in knowing because it's not about the who's who's and the what's what. I feel like this is a teachable moment. I was about to say for women of a certain age, but all women, if you out here just having fun, that man ain't got to be introduced to nobody but them sheets. Okay. There's a meeting in my bedroom. If that's the type of time that you want, right? If that's what you're interested in, if that's what you want, every man that got a good piece of pee don't have to be your man. Okay. It don't. Basically, y'all, we just got to be smart. Don't be out here looking all crazy. Gloss Up is this rapper, and apparently they was, you know, doing music together. They were in a relationship. She's supposed to be marrying somebody else, girl. Mind you, every, these girls and boys is every bit of 22, 23, 24. Keisha Cole, big grown ass, and got no business in the middle of a group chat. 
and then embarrassed. Come on now, be so for real. So after the those pictures came out of her and him on that project, Keisha Cole deactivated her account because, girl, you embarrassed yet again. And a lot of us take this position of, oh, poor Keisha, but you make these decisions of publicly coming out. She's been a celebrity for a long time, y'all. She got to know. She got to know what it's sitting for with these guys now. You come out, you make this man public, you know, your relationship, he's 24, you're 42, you think it's cute, you think it's a key. And when you get caught up in some bullshit down, you deactivate your Instagram. No! Stand on it. Stand on it. Okay? So, Gloss Up had this to say, okay? Let's wrap this up so uh, y'all can get the overview and leave me alone. Now she wanted us to leave us alone, but I'm sure she wanted it for the clout. That is not my man. I left him from the jump because of how open you all see him being. Two, I don't wish pain or infliction on anyone. He simply played both sides and I chose to step away from it. See, she she trying to shade her now. She trying to shade her now. I ain't trying to play no girl. I ain't trying to have, I ain't trying to inflict no pain, but I stepped away because Keisha would have been holding on. Okay. And then she says, I moved on and he couldn't take it. So he reached out to me, her, and wanting to make amends. He insisted he wasn't happy and the love from over there wasn't genuine and that the only love he truly felt was from Jerrica, me. Now that was shady because, girl, if he did say that, it is what it is. That love over there wasn't real. And then there, why are you trying to low-key attach your name to Keisha? And that's what these guys do. Five, he tried to play in both of our faces and I spoke up again. I, I'm the one with a little bit of common sense and nerve and gumption about me. So, yeah, it was me. Six, I'm over and wish them folks the best. But the best advice I could give is run. Don't walk because he's a mass manipulator. Okay, now this is after you tried to take him back and, you know, he wasn't happy and you shaded Keisha because you was the one who spoke up and this, that, and the third. Now, Keisha deactivated her joint and she commented in the shade room like, oh, too bad all of this is happening and I don't need to have nothing to, nothing to promote and da-da-da-da-da. It's just like, girl, Keisha, you just look old, sad, and corny. And in in a in a in a surefire way to stay away from that is to not bring your bedroom toys out to play in the daylight. Period. If you was just dealing the ying, 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 let it be that. Why did you have to make him your man? Why did you have to bring him out? Why did we have to know that? Because you got this young girl who I don't even know. We don't even know. I don't know her. Do you know Glow Salt? If you do, do you know her? If you know her, drop down in the comments. Now you got somebody. That's who we don't even know. Basically, just playing you, playing in your face, right? And so, after all of this, she uh, this was beforehand. So this is what Keisha is out here doing, y'all. No yes. way. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we up right now, and y'all stuck right now. Ah. Uh -huh. How much did you win? I mean, I won like five thousand. You, you I did. I did. I did. But what you give me? Cause Hunter gave me a stack. Nothing. Can't stand her. Who you like better, Keisha or Hunter? No yes. way. She look a damn mess. You's a dummy, man. You look stupid. You doing all that just to hold on to a little piece of twenty-four year old? And you've been in the game for damn near 24 years? Come on, ladies. Come on. We can't be for real. Like, let's start valuing ourselves. Let's start really um, being mindful and careful and strategic when it comes to how we're putting ourselves out there. And I'm not saying you can't have a little fun. You can't do whatever it is that you need to do, but not at the expense of your legacy, not at the expense of your mental health, not at the expense of what you're building. Keisha Cole looks a fool to me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She looks a mess. I want to know what y'all think. And, and I know not a lot of us are not surprised, but I just feel like at some point, when does it stop? When will it end? When will you say enough's enough and really heal? Keisha. Okay. Drop down in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. I'm really curious to know about this because I feel like 
I was talking about Amanda Seals. Oh, black women don't have no hair money. Whatever y'all was trying to say in that video, y'all. But here I am. Feel like she should be held accountable, feet to the fire. Because a 24-year-old is going to be a 24-year-old, period. Point blank. You're 42. You should know better. And then that's another thing, too. Age does not mean that you have the emotional intelligence or maturity or, you know, wherewithal to navigate these things clearly. Because she's not thinking straight. Let me know. Drop down. As always, I'm sending you much love and much light. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.